my name is Teresa. I am a recent graduate from Emily Carr University. I am a ceramic sculptor and I'm the current ceramic artist in residence at Fort Moody Arts Center. Yeah, I was really interested in art ever since I was a kid and it was just something I found a lot of joy in. I was bullied a lot as a kid, so uh, I didn't have many friends, so it was something I could like really like put my time and energy into alone. And um, it was something I feel like I was really good at, so I wouldn't really get praise anywhere else, but then like I'd make something and other kids would be like, oh snap, who made this cat? It has like a hat and everything. And I'm like, it was me. <laughs> I think I nestled in ceramics because there was so much to learn. It was such a hard thing to pick up immediately because every project you make, there's so many things you screw up. So I keep working with it because it's like, okay, I screwed up 10 times, let's see if next time I can screw up 9 times, 8 times. <laughs> As I developed my practice, um, messing up was something that really appealed to me. I think I had a portfolio right before entering in my car and then they changed the theme of it. They're like, oh, we need it to be about community. So I had three months to be like, okay, scrap this portfolio. I got to do community-based art. <laughs> and um, so I did a bunch of that or whatever my grasp of community-based art was then. And um, wrote an essay, got in. Surprisingly, I did, I did all very last minute. <laughs> So the first few years uh, was really nice. Uh, I had that whole experience in first year with Justin and learning about like social practice art. And then I minored in that just because it was like something I absolutely loved. And so many classes there were really inspiring. Um, like I had a class where we talked about the environment and food and it was in uh, a little house inside of a park, like one of those, um, I forget what they're called. You know those little houses yeah, in the yeah, park? Little yeah, and they had like a, a beekeeper thing and we every class we talked about like ethics of food and where it comes from and then we'd have a meal and share it together and my teacher like told us about like different salts. I always thought I just used table salt and then she was like, no, this one's from France. Try it on these eggs. And we tried it and I was like, <gasps> like whole new egg flavor. I've never had eggs before, before this. <laughs> So that, like, just like experiences like that in my education, like really alternative education, I think someone like me, who is creative, but also um, I have ADHD, and learning through like really tactile ways, or like doing like experiment, like projects like that, and also from understanding teachers and knowing that like everyone comes from different backgrounds and stuff like that, it was like a really great place to thrive. What I want to do with my art is um, just be able to reach out to more people. I think a lot of what I do is really based on wanting to find a community and wanting to help other people. Um, I feel like that's part of my practice is with ceramics, it makes something visually that isn't, that doesn't really, it's like doesn't not have a story. It's like I put in something about my culture or I put in something about like my gender identity or like my body is more for you or something <laughs> or just like like it doesn't always have to be sad either sometimes I put something like I made a pot recently that literally is just like a football field with super grover flying over it and it's amazing um, and I don't know I feel like sorry I'm rambling but I use mm -hmm. art it really is like a therapy for me and I hope that it can um, move into therapy for other people because I feel like the most rewarding thing is like being able to have a show telling people what my art's about and then other people being like yeah no I feel that and then telling like their stories or like their experiences like an immigrant over here or like as a settler over here and then like we have these conversations and it feels like I leave with like good connections and like people who feel like they can do things. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Um, I think as a ceramic sculptor myself, um, just focusing on sculpture as a medium is really helpful because um, you could look at around the world like so many things like, like a traffic cone or a trash can or like for me working in my daycare, um, my mom runs a daycare and like seeing her come up with things for the kids, like she, she'll tie like tape to a chair, a chopstick and a string and then the kids are playing, I'm like, oh, what's this? It like, looks visually amazing. Like, if this was picked up and put on a 
gallery floor, gray floor, white walls, everyone would look at it and think it's a genius. I'm like, what is it? And the kids are like, oh, it's like a car wash station. You drive your car in and then you wind up the top stick and it like lifts up this bucket and it like dumps the water on the cars. I'm like, that's genius. And like being able to see objects in your world and to play with them helps so much in the ceramics process because I feel like in ceramics, you're dealing with gravity, you're always building from the bottom up and it's wet and it's gonna crack so there's only so many forms you can make but experimenting with outside forms and seeing how they bend and lean on each other you could try doing that in your ceramics and you could really start making like new forms and like experimenting with things like that so yeah it's fun so um, yeah I think it's really important to have um, at least a sculpture background for what I try to do in ceramics. I feel like um, if you're playing, sculpture can be really fun um, and it's something that can be done really quickly and done anywhere. Ceramics, specifically, you need clay, you need a kiln. Um, it's always a longer process. Um, and, like, I feel like with sculpture, it could be like a quick reward and then you don't like it and you keep trying. But like ceramics, it's like, if you don't like the process of doing it, it's gonna feel bad because it's like you won't get your award until like a month later when everything is done. So, um, I don't know, I guess I really like ceramics because I like the process of screwing up and mixing it and like seeing how it goes and learning along the way. And I like sculpture. I don't know, I feel like they're two very different mediums. Um, it's, I think it's my the speaker I have in the studio. <laughs> And being able to play my music and get into it, um, I need that. Other, like working in silence is okay, but working with music is so much nicer. It's always nice to like clean and dance. Um, but other than that, my rib tool for scoring, and also my door that shuts me out from the outside world, so I'm just in my zone. Um, yeah, speaker door rib. <laughs> Yeah, um, my, the piece that's actually going to be in the show, my most recent piece, it's like a large bowl that, or a large pot actually, with a bunch of cracks all over it, but um, it took me a really long time to make and I was experimenting with like a bunch of different um, ways of making. Um, so I usually glaze color, but this time I like mix color into clay and it made like a pattern by like stacking clay on top of each other and rolling it on and I made this giant pot and then tried to like lift that slab of color onto the pot. That didn't work and then I was like, oh I need to do this now, I can't wait till tomorrow. So I blew up an air mattress and I rolled the pot on the slab and then the pot wasn't ready yet so it started to collapse. I was like, this isn't gonna work either. <laughs> I picked up the pot, like saved it, patched it back together and like put the pieces on that were like crushed and like just like cut them and like just put them on. And because of like how absolutely chaotic it was like some parts are cracked and fizzing out but it came out of the kiln like this week and the colors are spectacular and all the cracks are really interesting and all this yeah it just it's like one of the pieces I'm most proud of and I'm gonna fill all the cracks with either gold or like this like really foamy like glaze so that'll come out of like all the pockets and wedges yeah it's cool guys you'll see it trust me <laughs>